Hello, good morning dear students. Today's topic is production possibility frontier or production possibility curve. What do you mean by production possibility curve? What do you mean by production possibility frontier? So before going to discuss about these all things, so the question arises why production possibilities are there? So this is the very interesting question. So before knowing to the concept, let us try to understand why there is possibilities, why there is production possibility frontier concept is given. So basically these are the two very interesting things, they are scarcity and choice. So we all know that just as individuals face scarcity of resources, the resources of an economy as a whole are always limited in comparison to what the people in the economy collectively want to have. So the resources for satisfying human wants are limited and these limited resources are used by the economy that to fulfill the most important wants because resources are desirable and scarce. We have to make choice for the use. So economics is the study of choice and because of this concept the production possibility frontier is given. So let us try to understand the production possibility curve. So what is production possibility curve? So the production possibility curve shows the all combinations of two goods which can be provided if all resources are being used efficiently. Once again I will repeat. What do you mean by production possibility curve? It shows all the combinations of two goods which can be provided if all resources are being used efficiently. So this production possibility curve which shows the combination of two goods produced with the given resources and few assumptions are given here. The technology remains the same. That means given technology is there, there is no change in the technology of a production function and all the resources are employed, resources are fully employed. That means with given technology, the resources available in the country, they are fully used and how they are used? They are used efficiently. So this is the very interesting point. So a production possibility frontier illustrates many economic concepts such as allocative efficiency. The allocative means nothing but distribution. We have to distribute the available resources of the country in a very efficient way to attain the goal of maximum utilization. Economies of scale nothing but the benefits of scale of production. And another one opportunity cost that is nothing but marginal rate of transformation. And these are the very interesting things. On the basis of these all assumptions, let us try to understand the production possibilities curve. Once again I will repeat, uh, two commodities are given and uh, many possibilities are there. With these all possibilities, let us try to understand the concept of production possibility curve with this picture. So, See here, on OY capital goods are measured and on OY agricultural goods are measured and the production possibility curve is given here and four symbolic terms are given here. One is under utilization of resources and another one is full utilization of resources and another one not attainable with the available resources and technology another one shape of production possibility curve that is downward sloping and concave. Let us try to understand these all. So below the curve that means the resources of the country are not fully used. That means under utilization of resources. It means there is a scope to attain the production possibility curve or to reach the production possibility curve. There is a good chance and opposite of this full utilization of resources throughout the curve that means through the curve the resources of the country are fully that means utilized and beyond the curve 
not attainable with available resources and technology is given and shape of the production possibility curve is downward sloping and that is concave. This is the very interesting point. So, let us try to understand this production possibility curve with the help of given example. So, in this uh, uh, table three columns are given the first one possibilities and second one cloth that is in 1000 meters measure and third one wheat in 1000 quintals. See how many combinations are there? Six combinations are there. They are A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So, if all the resources of the nation are fully employed to produce wheat, the economy produced 15,000 quintals of wheat and 0,000 meters of cloth. If all the resources of the country are fully used to produce cloth, only 5,000 meters of cloth is produced and 0,000 quintals of wheat. And we will go through the combinations. A combination, uh, 0,000 meters of cloth and 15,000 quintals of wheat. And for B, 1,000 meters of cloth and 14 thousand quintals of wheat and for C uh, 2000 meters of cloth and 12,000 quintals of wheat and for D uh, 3000 meters of cloth and 9000 quintals of wheat and for E 4000 meters of cloth and 5000 quintals of wheat and for F 5000 meters of cloth and 0000 quintals of wheat. Yes, one thing is 100% clear here, if you want to produce more of one commodity, we have to uh, reduce the production of another one, that means opportunity cost concept is there. So, this is the very interesting point and because of this the curve, the production possibility curve is concave. So, this is explained here. On O x cloth is given and on o y wheat is given. So, all combinations are shown here. So, a is there b c d e f. When we plot according to the table we will get this type of curve and the curve is concave. So, boys and girls see or go through this example when we produce 15,000 uh, uh, quintals of wheat, we produce 0,000 meters of cloth and opposite of this, if all the resources are employed to produce cloth, uh, 5,000 uh, meters of cloth is produced and 0,000 quintals of wheat is produced. So, combination A is there, B, C, D, E, F is given. So, this is about a production possibility curve. Yes, this is asked for that is a short question. So, write a note on production possibility frontier or production possibility curve with the help of example or for two marks. What do you mean by production possibility curve? So, go through these all very interesting points. Stay happy, take care. Dear students, in the last session we discussed uh, production possibility curve in detail and today we are going to discuss the production possibility curve with the help of examples and try to draw the production possibility curve. The concept of production possibility curve which threw light on a few interesting points already we know that. So, the shape of the curve is concave and below the curve under utilization of resources that means there is a possibility to move towards and through the curve there is a full utilization of resources and beyond the curve non attainable with the available resources and technology. So, the shape of the curve is concave. So, the question arises which combination is the 
best combination. There are different combinations on throughout the production possibility curve. So, the curve which gives the point which gives the economic efficiency that is the best one. So, let us try to understand this with the help of example. So, in this example, so or in this table, three columns are there possibilities corn and cotton, five combinations are there. And if all the resources are fully employed on cotton, 10 units of cotton is produced. And four in, if all the resources are employed on corn, only four of corn is produced. For B, one of corn and nine of cotton, C, two of corn and seven of cotton, and D, three of corn and four of cotton, and E, four of corn and zero of cotton. So, this example through light on opportunity cost. If you want to produce more of one, then definitely we have to produce less of other. Then try to know how the possibility curve is drawn. There are two axes we all know that. x and y on x corn is given and on y cotton is given. Yes, we have to plot 0 of uh, corn and 10 of cotton this is the A combination and B 1 of corn and 9 of cotton and for C 2 of corn and 7 of cotton and for C 3 of corn and 4 of cotton. And last combination 4 of corn and 0 of cotton. When we connect these all, what you will get? We will get production possibility curve. So, this is A, B, C, D, and E. So, remember. Boys and girls, the curve must and should be concave. One more diagram we will draw with the help of one more example. See here again five combinations are there, the same products are given here, corn and cotton. If all the resources are employed, 8 units of cotton is produced and 0 of corn. And if all the resources are employed on corn, 4 of uh, corn produced and 0 of cotton. For A, 0 of corn and 8 of cotton and B 1 of corn and 7 of cotton and C 2 of corn and 6 of cotton and for D 3 of corn and 4 of cotton and last combination 4 of corn and 0 of cotton. So again so if you want to produce more of one we have to reduce the production of other the application of opportunity cost is given here. Let us try to draw the OX, OY. A combination corn is given here, cotton is given here, 0 of corn, 8 of cotton, 1 of corn, 7 of cotton, 2 of corn and 6 of cotton. 3 of corn 
ஒரு கோட்டன் அண்ட் ஃபார் லாஸ்ட் ஃபோர் ஆஃப் கார்ன் அண்ட் ஜீரோ ஆஃப் காட்டன் வென் வி கனெக்ட் தீஸ் ஆல் வாட் வி வில் கெட் production possibility curve so the shape of the curve is on k remember this go through these all things and try to draw the diagram neatly the diagram should be neither too large nor too small and scale is very important we have to write scale on the right side of the diagram let us try to understand these all points stay happy take care